Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1164. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we have some quizzes, and we actually need to calculate the average. Ah, but not the average of all of them. We want the average of all of them, but please take the two lowest ones out. Now, if you were just doing this one time, check this out. You could highlight, hold the Control key, highlight all of the numbers. I'm still holding Control except for the two smallest, and then look down in the status bar. There it is. There's the answer, 53.25. Now, we want to do this with a formula. Not only that, but we want our formula to update when the values change, or I add new data below this. All right, the first thing is I want a dynamic range. So the formula is up here. Look and know when I add new records. So we're going to convert this to a table. Click in a single cell in your table. Field names at the top, records and rows, right? Insert table or the keyboard control T. There's our table. I'm going to click OK. Now we want to name this table because when we make our formula and we point to an official Excel table, the table formula nomenclature will show up in the formula. Hey, hey, that's just a fancy way to say the table name and the column name will show up in our formula. I'm going to go up to Design. And right here, I can rename the table. Or I can use the keyboard Alt-JTA. And I'm going to call this Quiz Table and Enter. So now that has a table name, quiz table, and a column name. And we'll see this formula nomenclature right off the bat. Now the first thing is I'm going to build this in a couple steps. I'm going to start with the small function, because I want to somehow get the two smallest values. All right, so I'm going to highlight this first column. And you'll see your table formula nomenclature, quiz table, and quiz one. Now the weird thing about this formula nomenclature is the table is absolute. But if I copy this to the side, that field name in square brackets will move relatively. It will then move to quiz two. So that'll work. Comma. Now the K means if I put a 1, it'll find the smallest. If I put a 2, it'll find the second smallest. 3, the third smallest. But we want both the first and second simultaneously, so we have to use array syntax. Curly bracket, 1, 2, n curly bracket. That says go get the first and second smallest. Close parentheses. Now if I try to enter that, the, enter this, this is a special kind of formula called an array formula. When I hit Enter, it's only going to show the smallest one. And the reason why is because a cell can't display multiple values. But check this out. If I highlight this and hit the F9 key, which is Evaluate, you can surely see that both values are there. So two values, all we want to do is add them. So Control-Z. Remember, if you F9 to evaluate to see what it looks like, be sure to undo with Control-Z. Now I want to add this. So I'm going to sum just to see if we could get it to work. So 30. As I look through here, 12 and 18. I'm looking down to the status bar, and I see that, sure enough, that is a sum of 30. So that part of the formula is working right. Now remember, we need to subtract that from the total. So watch this. I'm going to get super tricky here. See how we have number 1, number 2? I'm going to actually type a comma. Now you can see that that small is in the number 2. And I want to subtract that amount, so I'm going to put a negative. Now I'm going to click on the number 1 and highlight this first column. All right. So now the sum will add number 1, which is all of them, and then subtract the two smallest. That just gives me the total, which is kind of cool in and of itself. But we need an average. So I'm going to say divide by the count value 1. I'm going to count them all. All right, so now I'm going to close parentheses. Ah, but that'll give me two too many, so I need to subtract two. Oops, we have division here that would happen first, and I want the subtraction to happen first, so I have to put close parentheses. Control Enter. There it is for the first quiz. I drag this over, and there it is, just as we uh, showed in the beginning of the video, that 53.25. And notice that the quiz 2 moved as a relative. It actually is a mixed cell reference. If you were to copy it down, it would be locked on quiz 2. But to the side, it moves to the next column.
That's a feature of table formula nomenclature. This is also called structured references. Escape. Now, I actually want to do one other formula and compare and contrast. I'm going to right click that and point on the mini toolbar to my format painter. Boop, right there. And I want to look at the average if. Now, the average if, that's one condition, and the S is one or more conditions. I'm going to use the average if. Now, these functions only exist in 2007 or later. But let's just highlight this whole column here, because we do really have only one criteria or condition. We want to get all of the numbers that are greater than the second smallest. So I'm actually going to use the small right here, Bloop. comma 2, close parentheses, and we could highlight that, F9, and see that it's getting the 18. Now what I really want to ask is, are any of you numbers in this column greater than? So I'm going to, in double quotes, put my comparative operator and join Shift-7, the ampersand, with the second smallest. Now, if I click on this in F9, you can see it gives me greater than 18. Now, for the first example, boom, it's going to work. But the second example, we're going to see a problem that the small function will fix. So when I copy this over, we can see the same table formula nomenclature or structured references that, that quiz 2 moved. And the reason why we get a different answer than this is because we have duplicates. So here we have a tie for the second smallest. Well, when we say greater than, and we click here, and F9, say greater than 20, well, it's just going to get everything greater than 20. Even if we put an equal sign there, then it gets both of them, right? So that's not going to work either. So the small function and the large function, if you say the two smallest, it only takes the two smallest, which is 20 and 0. It doesn't touch the third smallest. In essence, what small will do is sort the whole list and only take the two at the bottom. Now, one last thing we want to check is, let's see if this table formula nomenclature will really expand when we add a new record. So a new student, we tab in the last cell. And here I'm going to say 78. When I hit Tab, you can see instantly that it works. I'm going to put a 20 here, and boom, it is working. Let's go ahead and check out. You can see the blue in all of these. That is amazing, so totally dynamic. Not only that, but if we come back and we say, uh-oh, this person didn't get 69. They got 20. Boom, instantly updates. All right, we'll see you next trick.